Okay, we're gonna fight about Jonah Hill. What the hell is going on? So here's the thing. My perspective is the following. I did The Tonight Show with Jay Leno and Jonah Hill was the first guest and he was a low grade dick. Like he was put upon and kind of treated me like he was very better than and just, I felt like a loser and the nobody that I was. So that's what I'm walking into this as. Still, these texts seem crazy. And there are texts that I've sent to people and that people have sent to me that would seem nuts in a vacuum. And I want to know from you where the line is in what texts and phone calls should be shared. In the past, Mel Gibson's crazy phone call that his ex shared, Alec Baldwin with his daughter, that crazy uh conversation was shared um a lot was shared with johnny depp and amber heard and until they got into court everyone was team amber so i think it's tricky to be reading texts some people might say they may not want their girlfriend wearing bathing suits and posing in sexual poses or sexy poses or hanging out with a lot of male friends surfing etc so i don't know the whole story and i only have read little snippets and headlines but if you're in a relationship with someone for one year, are texts free game, like fair game? Has he abused her in a way that she, this is a cry for help and she needs help and she will not be silenced anymore? Because they both seem a little nuts. Like, this is kind of crazy. I want to hear what you think. Short of, like, blink twice and he's been actually emotionally harmful to her, is it okay to just share texts? I mean... That's that's a frightening 2023 for me.